That's Mr. Feisty. And that is Bubby's old coop. We just took him out of. <laughs> and there's Bubby. Yes, yeah, so, well, Mr. Feisty is Bubby's arch nemesis. So he whooped Bubby's butt a couple of months ago to the point where he didn't kill him, but Bubby was so scared that he sat in the nesting boxes with his face into the back and he wouldn't come out. So he had like no life. So then we switched him to this coot, but then he still had zero. I mean, he wasn't interacting with the women. He wasn't getting any of the, um, the good nutrients like out in the yard, no worms, no bugs. So decided it was time to create a new environment for Bubby. So, cause Bubby's one of our favorite roosters and he's, um, He's been so good to those hens for like five years and he's the son of our favorite bird of all time, shark bait. So we'll, uh, we want to rethink uh, what Bubby's purpose is on our farm. So B.I. has built us this beautiful coop here. It's a chicken tractor. And the idea is, is Bubby's going to be inside this chicken tractor and then every day I'll rotate some new birds in there so they don't lose their, their place in the pecking order and with the group, just pull them out for like a day and do like a wellness check on each of the hens. And right now I have in here Tina, who's the black Moran, and then I have the silver pencil rock, which is Penny. And Penny's like, she's over 10 years old. Tina is older and has like uh, some physical problems. So these two birds are not laying eggs and we don't harvest our hens. So I like to use them for other purposes, like for poop and for um, being able to, um, being able to do pest control on the perennial fruit trees and bushes and that sort of thing. But they've been in the back and they do a great job on the perennials in the back, but everything that's in the front does not have any chicken time. And that's been a problem. So, this is going to be the solution. We'll be able to drag it around, put it in strategic plots, places as we move along in the season, and based on whether we need added nutrition, do we do we need added uh, pest control? Is the fruit falling off and getting like fungus on the ground so they can eat the excess fruit? And just kind of strategically move it around the yard, and and meanwhile bringing in those birds every day those hens will be able to get added nutrition i mean here we've got wild mustard and chickweeds coming out speedwell all kinds of stuff that the birds would love and it looks like it ate it too <laughs> so the greens are like popping right now and it would be nice for the birds to have access to it so this way it's good for the birds they get a wellness check and um they get the added nutrition and then it's good for us too. And it's a good way to use our older birds as well. And uh, so the way this works is you can uh, do the food. We're gonna place the food just freely on the bottom to encourage the scratching. And then this is the, we have this strap here, which um, what you end up using the strap for is, is you just kind of pull this along and it's pretty light. I can move it. I don't want to move it too far with the birds in it right now. Um, and then the strap doubles down as the, the holding down this lid. And then at night, when it's time to move the females out and switch them out, perfect time to move birds is at night because they are very, they don't do anything. They just sit there and... <laughs> It just stole your hat. Yeah. <laughs> so if you look inside here, there's like a roosting section and they'll come in here at night and roost and then I can just grab the birds as I need them. And uh, that's a win-win for Buddy. That's a win for the hens and that's a win for us. Chicken tractor. And that was, uh, thank you B.I. for doing such a wonderful job. On You're this. welcome. Appreciate it. Forever Foods Farm signing out. Bye.